Lachlan from Boxed and welcome back. I've got the incredible Dan Pasquale with us today. Glad to see you here. Yeah, of course. And what are we baking? So today we are going to make a chopped peanut banana cake. Sounds absolutely delicious. And if you do want any of the ingredients, be sure to check them out in the description below. Done. Let's start it. So first thing right. we have to do is combine all our butter at room temperature over unsalted, always very good to use unsalted butter and we just put some sugar we have some castor sugar here and let's just pour all in done next step just to cream it Now it looks like our mixture of butter and sugar is nice and creamy and let's just combine some eggs. So let's start with the first egg and you can mix it. Now the last lucky egg. Done. And now we need to make sure all the butter and the sugar is scraped up from the sides of the bowl. Yes, sounds good. So looking at just creating like a smooth consistency, right? Yeah, exactly. Smooth, Great. silky consistency. Now, let's do it again. Great! And now we start to combine all the dry ingredients all together. So we have here self-raising flour and plain flour. We add some cocoa powder. And then in here we have more wet ingredients. So we have milk okay. and we just add some vanilla. Done. And now let's just mix all the dry ingredients all together. I always love to use my hands. <laughs> it's actually nice and relaxing. You can try if you want. We sure. like to try it. Why not? Alrighty. See, it's, it's like if you give a massage to a cloud. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's messy. And now, let's just combine half of the dry ingredient with our butter egg mixture. Just combine the left, the left over. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Big party. All right, that clearly shows why I'm not a baker. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> it's all good, no worries. We love messy kitchen. <laughs> it's all about having fun here. Oh, better maybe. Oh, wow, that's starting to come together now. Yeah, because now we need to put some okay. milk. Slowly just add some milk. So slowly adding milk. Oh, yeah, slowly. Because you don't want more mess. <laughs> <laughs> and now we can stop it for a second. So we can just mix 
remove all the butter from the bowl. Yum. Perfect. Close them. And can you please turn it on half, sure. my please? Great. And now let's make just more milk. Let's double check. Let's just clean this bit. It looks so nice and creamy. Look at it. I just wanted to eat it. <laughs> and now the last bit is to add some chocolate chips. So we're adding chocolate chips, but you can also add like cho chocolate buttons, right? You can add chocolate buttons, chocolate chips, you can add peanut butter chips, whatever Amazing. you like. Or even like caramel chocolate would be oh, delicious. Oh, yes. Let's do it. Just for 30 seconds. Done. There we go. <laughs> it's really, really that easy. It's actually easy to make a cake. Mm. Just, just need to mix everything and just need to wait 45 minutes in the oven and then you get a delicious cake. And if you haven't preheated your oven, now is a great time to do it. What temperature? Uh, 170 degrees for 40, 45 minutes. I already pre-greased these tins and now we are going to pour the butter sure. inside these three tins. I always divide the butter in equal amounts so in this way, you know, they cook evenly. Perfect. Done. So with the three tins evenly filled, we'll now be putting them in the oven for how long? 40, 45 minutes, but make sure to use always a wooden... Skewer. Skewer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and but, just double check that it's cooked. Yeah, exactly. Just make sure it's cooked. Perfect. Let's do it. So now, next step is to make Swiss meringue buttercream. Delicious. Mm. It's actually one of my favorite buttercream because it's not too sweet. Because American buttercream can be a bit too sweet. I can't believe we have nine eggs. There are a lot, but we need nine egg whites. So we need okay. to throw away the other stuff. So first of all, take our bowl. We have a pot with some boiling water here behind me. And now we just separate the eggs. So we start with one, and we do this step for all nine eggs. And now next step is to add sugar into our nine egg whites. For the next step, we need our whisk, and we just have to whisk our egg white with the sugar on top of the hot water. And we need to make sure we pasteurize the egg white. And to make sure we reach the right temperature, we just need to feel the consistency. Like obviously now it's still at room temperature, so it's yeah. still grainy. Once you feel nice and silky and you can feel the grains from the sugar, it's ready. Perfect. Let's do it. And usually this step will take just three, four minutes. And once it's nice, white and fluffy, and you feel it and it's not grainy anymore, it's ready for next step. Would you like to feel it? Um, not really. No. <laughs> I trust you're good at your job. So yeah, I can't feel the grains anymore, so it's ready for next step. 
Perfect. So, let's go. Next step is just to whisk it at high speed for at least 10 minutes. Done. Put it down and just whisk it. So now I'm going to put the butter at room temperature inside the egg and sugar mixture. Slowly. So you don't want to put all the 300 grams of butter into it. It's not a good idea. <laughs> Done. Now our cakes are ready. We can cut them. Put some syrup that I already made, 50% of water, 50% of sugar. I always use this tool because it's amazing. Make sure that the layers they are all nice and even. So it's let's a cake leveler. Right? It is, yes. So let's cut them. See, done. So it really is that easy. Easy done. So we just leave this one here. So you're cutting two cakes out of one? Yes, agree. Done. Perfect. And now we have our layers and we are going to assemble all together. First of all, we are going to put some Swiss meringue buttercream on the bottom of the fat. Done. And now we are going to brush our syrup. So in this way, our cake will be moist for days. After that, we are going to put some Swiss meringue buttercream. So it's just like a dollop, right? It doesn't have to be an exact amount. Yeah, no, it doesn't. If you, if you love Swiss meringue buttercream, yes, put a lot of it. But usually I would say maximum a centimeter thick. Perfect. And we're using, just for reference, a six inch cake tin. And this is an eight inch board that we have on our box.com website. And now we are going to put some peanut butter. <laughs> oh, delicious. We mix all together. And now when all the peanut butter is combined all together, we just have some sliced banana. I love this. Such a cool idea, adding bananas or fresh fruit between the layers. Because actually it's very good, the contrast between the creaminess from the bananas and the peanut butter in the frosting. So would you say to eat the cake within like two or three days because we're using fresh fruit? Yes, I would say maximum two or three days, no longer. Okay. <laughs> Done. And now we can go into step number two, put the second layer. So it's pretty much just repeating the same steps. Now. Yeah, repeating always the same stuff. Now everything is nice and straight. And we just have to put our final touch, the marshmallow frosting. Fantastic. You can put sweet meringue buttercream, but I think the marshmallow frosting will be better. I love marshmallow. Incredible, let's do it. So you want me to spin it for you? Yes, please, can you do it for me? You spin my head right, <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, wrong way. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> just to remove the excess. Jeez, I'm lucky that's not my full-time job. <laughs> Done, and now we just put our frosting, our mushroom Oh, this frosting. looks amazing. I really want to try it. So oh, badly. yes. I'm sure it would be delicious. You're mainly looking for like a thin layer of the marshmallow? Yeah, just a thin layer. 
And you can always do this step with some white chocolate if you want. Okay. So it's better with some ganache. Perfect. Actually, I prefer ganache. But marshmallow. <laughs> Best part about this cake is there's so many creativity possibilities. And I mean, while we have marshmallows and sprinkles here, I'm sure there's so many amazing elements you could add, like chocolate. Yeah, you can add chocolate, little heart, is a jelly, whatever you want. Something colorful, I would say. <laughs> Always. And now, we are going to put some sprinkles. So that's actually the fun part. That's actually the fun part. You just have to do like this. Ah! <laughs> oh. There's sprinkles everywhere. everywhere. One, two, three. And if you like, you can just decorate your cake with some Swiss meringue buttercream, like I'm doing this way. I really love the pink color. I think it works really well. I love it. So nice and it's a little bright. pop of color. Pop. But now I'm going to attach these pink spheres I made previously, and I painted them in gold. So it's just like white chocolate, right? Yeah, it's just white chocolate with some white food coloring. I can't really see. That. And what about the marshmallows? Or and the now, yeah, we can just put some marshmallow on the top. Okay. Just to give an extra touch. So do you prefer these mini marshmallows or like a full size one? Yeah, I prefer the mini one because they're nice and cute. Because <laughs> I think like the big one would be a little bit too messy. Okay. And a few sprinkles on top. Done. Let's put some sprinkles. Amazing. So who doesn't love a little bit of rainbow? Mm -hmm. I love what Dan's done here with the cake. Um, we really do love showcasing what our customers can create at home. There's so many opportunities and I'm really excited to show you how we can package this box now. So let's get the bench clean, nice and tidy, and we can package it right up for you. Ready, now we're ready to pack this cake. So we have our 14 inch tall cake box here and as I mentioned we're using an 8 inch board today so you can simply lift it off just like that. Put the cake inside. And when you're putting the lid back on you can simply just drop it on top of the cake. Simply like this. And just like that we've packaged the cake in our tall cake box. It looks absolutely amazing. I'm so thankful to Dan Pasquale. A pleasure. Thank you so much for coming. Give us a big thumbs up if you love the video. And of course, tag us on Instagram if you do want to make a creation just like this one. Until next time, bye. Bye.